So he was sensational in A Quiet Place, A Quiet Place Part 2, The Undoing with Nicole Kidman. It's hard to believe he's only 19 years old. I'm talking with Noah Jupe out of his next role in Franklin on Apple TV+. Plus. So what what is Franklin about? Franklin is about, um, obviously, the very esteemed uh, Benjamin Franklin and um, his grandson, Temple Franklin. Uh, and it's about the, them as they embark to France and Paris to try and convince the French monarchy to support the, the new democracy of America in their war against the British. And you play, obviously, Ben Franklin's grandson, but we don't really know much about him from the history books. We know Ben Franklin, one of the founding fathers, the inventor of many, many inventions today. What drew you to this role as his grandson? Um, I think a lot of things. I think actually one of them being, um, you know, the history of it. And uh, being from the UK, we there's not a lot of uh, information about the American Revolution in our in our history books. Um, I think we kind of like to skirt over that fact a little bit. Um, but you know, we. Um, it, for me, it was it was an entirely new subject that I could learn about and um, part of history that um, is incredibly exciting, especially especially this specific part of um, you know the the revolution when Franklin went to Paris and everything that happened there and almost the impossible task that he had to try and um, complete and and he managed to to do it because America is now its own country today. And you obviously share the screen a lot of the time with Michael Douglas, who plays Ben Franklin. What was building that relationship like with him? I mean, it was uh, it was very special, and I'm insanely lucky that I got to spend the time that I did with him. He's a he's a true legend um, and an incredible guy, and very professional. And we just really, I mean, you you know, we were spending eight months with each other, and. You don't want someone that you get sick of quickly or, or is kind of annoying in any way that you have to spend every day for that period of time with. And he was he was very easy to be around, very polite, and um, yeah, a great guy. I'm so lucky to have been work, work, working with him. You know? It's great to hear those stories about those people that we've seen on our screen for years and years and years just to have yeah. that humbleness about them. Yeah. So obviously there's, this is obviously a biopic, but it's not what we would expect when people say, oh, we're <coughs> telling a story about Ben Franklin. This is him in France. And with your character, it's not signing a declaration of independence. What what about that made you interested in telling this story as, of course, you being from Europe? Um, I mean, listen, when I was a kid um, and like, you know, you're in, in class and you're learning about history, um, and they show you those like educational videos and they're just, they bore you out of your mind. You're like falling asleep in the back of the class that, you know, and, and then maybe at the end of the term they go, oh, okay, for, for a little, little surprise for you guys, we'll put on a movie that the, the historical movie and suddenly everyone else is now like everyone's invested in this movie because it has a story, it has emotions and, it, and it's, it's like true and it, and it feels, you know, um, it feels real almost because it, you know, because they're trying to make it feel like real human beings. And I think that that's what this show's doing. It's an incredible time and with some incredible things that are going on and it, during the show. But ultimately, it's an entertaining, exciting um, story um, about this this incredible period. And, and it just so happens to be real, but that's almost like a, an aftermath, you know? It's, it's more about the characters in the show. And I think that for me, coming to one of those characters, that was the most exciting part was it wasn't all about the history and trying to make sure like, you know, everything was in order. It was more about trying to bring these characters to life to showcase what happened in history, you know? Yeah, it's absolutely entertaining. It's historical. It's informative. I can't wait for people to watch Franklin on Apple TV Plus this spring. Thanks a lot, Noah. Thanks, man. Have a good day. He's directed episodes from literally the biggest shows around The Wire, The Sopranos, Sex and the City, Game of Thrones. I could just go on and on, but the interview would be over. I'm chatting with Tim Van Patten, who is directing all eight episodes of Franklin on Apple TV Plus. So what drew you to this specific project? I like to take myself 
um, into worlds I'm not entirely familiar with um, and also take the audience along with me. And I, you know, it's a major piece of American history, but this particular sliver I had absolutely no idea about. And you're very right about that. I When I heard they were making a limited series about Ben Franklin, I'm like, okay, it's a biopic. We're going to see him sign the Declaration of Independence, all the inventions he made, but this is not that at all. It's <laughs> a very specific point in history that not a lot of us know a lot about. Absolutely. So yeah, what, we didn't want to, we were determined not to do your, 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 your father's version of the Benjamin Franklin. We really wanted to dig into his amazingly complex character. And at the top with Ben Franklin, obviously we have to talk about Michael Douglas. What was it like directing him in these eight episodes? He's a bona fide star. I mean, he's just a total consummate professional. He's, um, he's just a pleasure to be on set with. The crew loved him. He loved the crew. The cast adored him. Um, it couldn't have been easier or, or more wonderful. And playing his grandson is Noah Jupe, this up-and-comer who you can't even really call an up-and-comer anymore. He's been in the no. Quiet Place films, <laughs> The Undoing with Nicole Kidman. What was that like working with him? He's just, he's, I don't even look at, look at him as a kid. He's such so mature and confident. He's almost, you don't, you don't see that very often. And he's so at, um, at home in his own skin. And he's, he's just, he was a, a sheer joy. He just brought this life. I love the idea of this parallel journeys for these two. And um, it gives Franklin this whole other emotional thing to play. And, and Noah was up for all of it. And he, he of everybody, he, he walked away being fluent in French. Wow. I did yeah. not know that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously this show, you're directing all eight episodes. We don't see yeah. that very much on TV shows. You have, Some shows have typical, like a few directors for this episode, a few for this one, the finale, but you are all in for all eight. What made you take on that role for this show? Well, there's a reason, I, you know, I never, I, I have never done it and people don't do it because you, it requires so much prep work. And usually the scripts aren't all complete. So you, you want to be able to prep the whole show, obviously, if you're going into production. Um, so we were able to do that and uh, we block shot the show, meaning we shot by location. Uh, we do the blocks of, for all eight hours, we would clean up each location one at a time. Um, it, it's, it's, it is daunting physically, um, but if you love the particular work you're doing, um, you just wake up every day and you're happy to put your feet on the ground and get to set. You're very right about that. I can tell you the block work was all worth it. I love this show from start to finish. People are going to love it. Make sure you watch Franklin on Apple TV Plus beginning Friday, April 12th. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You're up to something. Well, I would not claim otherwise. You are? I am. Benjamin Franklin. The Congress has sent me here. It is a representative of the United States to enlist France in our war against England. America requires men, money, and arms. Without your aid, the United States will end before it has begun. Grandfather, how long must we stay? Until we win France to our side, or we are hanged. Is there a third choice? Diplomacy must never be a siege, but a seduction. We both know you have trouble. You're up to something. I am plotting to deliver ships to the United States. No, you're up to something else. We have made an offer. Beware the Frenchman's promise. Is everything all right? Possibly not. Someone is spying on us. Be careful. France has nothing to gain joining with America. The British will defeat you. It may cost us. But it will cost you more. If the price is our lives, we'll pay it. I don't know who I can trust. I'm here to help my country. The time is running out. Who are you really? Who 
are what the world requires you to be. This is a dangerous game. That's just the sort of game I like.